Hey y'all, Chantel here, welcoming back my returnees and welcoming my newbies. Compliments of the season. Please subscribe if you're feeling this baby girl. Also engage by liking this video, sharing it as well and leaving your comments in the comment section. Okay. So this video is a subtle buzz boost. I'm going to be shaking some tables here. So come closer, let me tell you why you always look cheap. Isn't that amazing? In Christmas. This video is for those who want to know more about looking chic and luxe without breaking the bank. I'll be sharing some common ways you're making your outfit look cheap and what you could do instead. This video is not to bash anyone but just to say it as it is and hopefully some people can make the changes that they seek. If however you dress or look makes you happy, do you boo? I'm pro that. Style is pretty much subjective but I'm just giving tips here. Hmm? Which brings me to my first point. You look cheap by wearing different logos in one outfit. Looking expensive has little or nothing to do with money. Let that sink in. As a matter of fact, you can be wearing all the designers on earth and still look very cheap to the person sitting next to you. I understand that it can be a nice touch to add a designer logo here and there to your outfit. However, adding too much is a major fashion faux pas. Putting designer logos from head to toe will make your outfit look less polished and honestly, cheaply done. The best way I would say to wear designer logos without overdoing them is by choosing one piece that makes your outfit stand out. Instead of wearing Gucci, tights, Fendi, t-shirts, LV earrings, Mac and Mac pumps, YSL bag in one look, I would suggest you choose one or at most two designer items to showcase in one outfit. Whether it's your belt, your shoes, your dress or any other accessory, do not go all out with a lot of designers in one look you might think it makes you look expensive and rich to show the whole world that you can afford these things but in my opinion you just look very cheap and very ratchet the next one is wearing wig cap outside you people should stuff it i go out and i see people with wig cap you know that normal brown wig cap that they give you as complimentary when you get wig if you get wig from ca dresses you get that complimentary wig cap right people wear it and you know how tight it can be and be working on the boot. Why are you doing that to yourself as to us that are looking at you? I can even deal with you wearing your bonnet outside. I think I can swallow that better than seeing you with wig cap outside. That makes you look very cheap. If your wig is in the salon, you're going to pick it up. Don't wear that you're getting on the road. Instead, go inside the salon, wear it, fix your hair and come out. Or you even tie a scarf. Please, let's leave that thing in 2022. Which brings me to the point that I'm going to do a 2022 edition of trends that deserve to die in 2022 and not for loss to 2023. This has got to be one of them. So please, it makes you look really cheap. It's very off-putting and not nice to look at. I'm tired. Another thing that makes you look cheap is the fact that you're not investing in primary colors and plain clothing. Black, white, nudes, colors like this make you look very crisp, very smart, and they make you look expensive. For instance, in this video, I have on a plain pink top and you can see how it elevated me as opposed to me wearing something filled with a lot of colors that doesn't translate to me saying colorful outfits are generally cheap looking but to look even more expensive invest in plain colors invest in primary colors imagine an all-white outfit the other I wore an all-white outfit to church a lot of compliments it just makes you look even more luxurious so if you want to look more expensive try investing in plain colors and primary colors the next point for me that makes you look cheap is having undergarments showing from your clothing what's that are you a baby even babies that have pampas showing these days mothers wear them pantyhose this mistake can not only ruin an outfit that has potential but it could also give off a vibe that i'm not sure you want to be giving off if you decide to wear shared clothing invest in um seamless undergarments in nude color in black or in the color of the outfit that you have on with this type of undergarment you can freely wear a dress or your favorite pants and not have to worry about panty lines picking through the next point i'm going to talk about is up for debate but i actually think that it makes you look very cheap when you don't dress for your body type i'm pro confidence self-love body positivity but let me break it to you that bbl dress you see hanging in the in the boutique or that dress they say one size fits all does not necessarily mean that it is for your body type you don't have the body type of the person that they intended the dress to be for so why squeeze yourself into it <laughs> why for goodness sake you can be wearing a dress that is so expensive but once it's ill-fitting 
it just takes that away from it and you look you go from 100 to zero so please dress for your body type i have a video where i talked about different outfits for different body types i'll leave it linked in the cards and also in my description box you can go check it out to get some tips and uh, there's supple chic as well chi chi she always gives out tips and tricks on different body types you can go watch her channel i'll leave it um linked in my description box the next point is wearing cheap looking fabric cheap looking fabrics are a sure sign of looking cheap it's even worse when the fabric is now expensive you purchased it with plenty money and then it ends up looking cheap i'm going to give you an example i tend to stay clear of some new or wash of jeans like gray light blue very that very very light blue wash for fabrics i tend to stay away from viscose jesse material those stretchy fabrics that attract lint and easily fray you get those type of fabrics because they ooze cheap to me no matter how expensive they are another thing i like to do is when i'm shopping from affordable brands i stick with fabrics like cotton silk and satin they might be cheap price wise but have an expensive outlook if you know what i mean basically i would just say stay clear fabrics or materials that can be done well on a budget next point for me is heavy makeup <laughs> please avoid heavy makeup at all costs i will repeat that avoid heavy makeup at all costs no matter how strong the urge is when you're not a clown don't go heavy on the eyes and the lip at the same time you end up looking very cheap less is more in this department so you don't end up looking like Ilya Bakarat. with makeup i always tell people to tilt more towards the minimal um, area next point for me is this one that x me so much why do people do that using rubber band to tie your hair to pack your hair in this day age where hair packers are the cheapest hair accessories you can get why do you still have to opt for rubber bands first off you're even spoiling your extension you're spoiling your natural hair and it is not flashing at all it's so it's so annoying i can be admiring someone's look right once you turn back and i see that you use rubber band to tie your hair it just takes that admiration to what was she thinking yeah i'm dramatic like that that's how i feel about it it's 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 ha it's it's not nice looking at all hairbands like i said are legit the cheapest hair accessories available just try and invest in some okay you can get a pack for less than two dollars in prime marketing they sell it for like one pound for a pack of 20 or more another reason why you look cheap which is also the last point i'll give in this video is wearing rumpled clothes I get it you're very busy it's difficult to fit in ironing time when you are running multiple businesses when you're trying to be the eighth wonder of the world when you're trying to be jeff pesos but please if you cannot do it outsource it i don't like to iron for any reason so what i do is even invest in clothing that don't require me to iron and for the ones that i can't even do without ironing i do it i don't like it but i just have to do it because going out looking rumpled makes you look haggard makes you look cheap and Nobody will even take you serious because you are first what they see. The first impression anybody gets of you is your outlook before they even hear you talk. You might be the most intelligent person in the world, but once you come out looking haggard, they'll just push you to one side. Nobody is going to even give you audience. Like I mentioned, if ironing is not your favorite chore, outsource it. Or just plan yourself in such a way that you iron once a week. And throughout that week, you don't have to bother about ironing. Wearing rumpled clothing is just so bad and... Yeah, that's it with this video. If you want to be part of those that look expensive in 2023, we don't look like what we are going through. Do you get that type of thing? Then refer back to all these points I gave. We have to look very clean. We have to look very dapper. We have to look very luxurious. We have to look very crisp and well put together each and every time. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know other tips if you have any. If you also learned something new, let me know as well. Check my description box for more details. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Oh